Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Today's video is unlike any video that I've actually ever done on my channel. I've definitely done some like office makeover, sharing me rearranging my office, but this is quite a bit different. I'm creating a gaming nook in my closet, and I thought it might be fun to film the process. I have no expectations for this. I've never done this before. I'm not super, um, I don't want to say I'm not creative, because I am creative, but like, I'm not crafty in the sense of like building things and making things look Pinterest aesthetic, you know, some people have like a knack for that, not me. But I'm going to do my best because I got some inspiration from Pinterest actually and I feel like it could potentially look really good. This is embarrassing and quite messy, but this is my current like little amateur gaming setup. I have my Xbox and then I have a gaming laptop that I recently got um, and I just Occasionally I'll hook that up and play it from the monitor, but I have hopes and dreams of making it a real gaming setup and by real amateur gaming setup I mean the amateur version because I'm not like a crazy gamer or anything But you know, I've been into it more and I want to make my own little space I feel it's necessary to show you the before this is really embarrassing I promise my whole house doesn't look like this But this closet has just kind of become the place where I just shove things I don't know what to do with and I have not come up with a plan yet for what I'm gonna do with all this stuff Once I pull it out of here. I, I don't have space like oh, Chad and I have outlived this house and there's not space for all this but We'll just figure it out as we go. It's fine. The issue about just doing this in my normal office space is that I I have like two personalities, okay? One side of me wants like a Pinterest, all white, very aesthetic, clean look to my office, which is ideal for working from home some days, taking pictures, getting ready. I just like the clean vibes of my office, you know, like this, which completely contradicts the side of me that wants to have like a gaming setup. And I can't do both in this tiny space. So that's why I thought we'll like completely separate the two. Like I can live two lives and have one gaming life and one normal adult working woman home office life. Money doesn't grow on trees. We do have a budget for this little project. I'm trying to stay around $100, which I think is very reasonable because I already have a lot of what I need to do this. Um, but there are a few things that I need and I'm really, really excited. Okay, I just parked, terrible lighting right now. Um, we're gonna go into Five Below really quick because they have really cheap like lights and stuff that you can put around your gaming desk a little light bar like I know it's gonna be super cheap but I don't know if this is just a little phase I'm going through or if this is gonna be like something I want to keep up with so we're gonna go cheap plus you can always find cool stuff in five below pretty excited that I found this in five below because these were on Amazon like the cheap ones I know it's a cheap one but I feel like for what it is, this little like mouse spongy thing just kind of holds your mouse up. I feel like for what it is, there's no point in paying for the razor one. Um, so five bucks, well technically like five, actually no, it says it was five dollars. I feel like their prices went up though. I feel like some, some things are more expensive. Um, but I also found a desk pad, so this is just like basically a ginormous mouse pad. So that, and then I found this little light thing. I decided not to get any of the RBG lights that I'm looking for. I think I'm gonna go to Lowe's for those because that's something I'm willing to spend a little more money on because it's like the quality of how the light's gonna look. Next stop is Target. Between Target and Lowe's, I think I'll be able to find those lights. I'm really excited because I found this um, desktop that's from Ikea on Facebook Marketplace for 20 bucks. And I have the Alex drawers from Ikea and people usually put like a table top on top of those. Um, it's actually the whole table, but I'm just gonna unscrew the legs. It's a little bit damaged. I don't wanna say damaged, just like, obvious signs of wear so depending on what it looks like i might put some contact paper over it and make it look like fake wood grain um or i might just not even worry about that i'm just gonna look for fun while i'm in here okay they didn't have the lights or the contact paper but i did find one thing how cool is this it holds your xbox controller it has master chief it's not for me for my husband as a christmas gift chad's gonna love this he's a huge fan of halo and it's actually like really heavy and sturdy. Like it looks like a cheap piece of plastic, but it's very sturdy and it lights up at the bottom with the Xbox logo. He's gonna love this. I am at Lowe's now, hoping they have what I need.
Just picked up the Ikea tabletop thing from Facebook Marketplace. 20 bucks, I'm so glad because I don't have an Ikea near me, so the only reason I have Ikea furniture is because I get it whenever I visit my sister in Tampa. Okay, I'm back home and the first step is gonna be to start pulling everything out of the closet. I grabbed a giant trash bag because I know I have a lot of things I wanna throw away. Okay, we have a, a little bit of a problem at this point. Um, I feel so dumb right now. I feel so dumb right now, but I bought that tabletop off of Facebook Marketplace just assuming because it said that it was like 55 inches, that it was the um, Linman Alex drawer Ikea tabletop thing that goes with these two drawers. It wasn't. Um, in fact, this thing that I have on here right now is actually just a piece of plywood. It's not the tabletop. I moved it back out there. It's too long, like this way. Like it sticks out like a lot. If it was a little bit, I could deal with it and just pull the um, drawers out to match it, but it's not. It's a lot. So I think I'm going to have to cut it, which I don't really care. It was 20 bucks and this is like a little DIY project and who knows, I might not even keep it like this, but if I cut the back part um, to the right dimensions, you're not gonna see the inside of the desk anyway. And if I wait for Chad to get home from work tomorrow, he's gonna give me some reason why he doesn't wanna cut the desk. So I'm just gonna do it. We're gonna go grab the handsaw. I don't have like an electric one, which is probably a good thing. I probably should not be using an electric handsaw. So I'm gonna use like the, um, you know, manual cutting down a tree saw. Covering up the coffee table with this old towel, ignore how dirty it is. This is what we use to clean Trooper's paws off whenever he comes inside. I'm gonna lay this face down and then I'm gonna use the other board as my guide. This is just a piece of plywood that I got a while back from Home Depot or Lowe's actually. And it's um happens to be the perfect dimensions but I didn't like it because it's just too thin and flimsy for being a tabletop um, but it works because it's the right dimensions so we're just gonna cut this my sister came by to help with this with this handsaw because I couldn't be trusted hold on hold on I'll hold this part let's bring it down some ever wonder what the inside of an Ikea desk looks like? Dude, I can't, I would have never been able to do this yes, without you. Oh my god, this is hard. Now that I saw the, well, let's fix the edge. Okay, my sister just left, so I am down to my finishing touches. We put the shelves up. I decided not to pull off all the little uh, things that you see because it's just going to create a bunch of holes and I just don't want to have to deal with that right now. Eventually I'm going to have to patch all of that so I'm just going to wait to pull them out whenever we're going to patch. I also put up that little um, like Saturn light which I think is really cute for being from Five Below. And this light I already had. It's actually blue. It looks purple on here. But it's blue. That's so weird the way it's coming up. Completely purple. But yeah, here's like what my setup looks like so far. I'm about to start hooking up lights. I got these um, RGB. I kept saying R RBG. <laughs> I'm 
Okay guys, I don't want to say my expectations were low, but I definitely did not expect it to come out this freaking cool. I am really, really excited about this. I used my Cricut just now to add um, my gamer tag, which is Stormtrooper, and then like a little Stormtrooper up there. Um, oh my god, I'm so excited, you guys. This is just like amazing. And while I was finished setting that up, downloaded the new Call of Duty, so we're going to be playing that tonight. <laughs> 